Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is John Marshall and in the next 10 or 12 minutes I'm going to give you a complete review of kind, everything that I like and don't like. So now what do I want you to do? Well, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Alright everyone, really quick full disclosure. One thing I forgot to mention is that Kind is a channel sponsor. Does this mean that they review this video or does it mean that I should say something explicit about Kind? No, this review is my honest actual thoughts about Kind, what I like, what I don't like. Everything I say is what I really think and that's all I wanted to say. So now we can go back to the video, so enjoy. So what should you know first of all about myself? Well, I've been using Kind for about 10 months and I've used it in a total 11 projects and I'm already working on my my next project using kind. That means that I've tested most of the features extensively, I know what I like, what I don't like, what works good and what does not work good. And in this video that's exactly what I will talk about. So what's the first thing I want to talk about? Well that's the developer experience, so in short DX. Now developer experience is quite interesting because everyone defines it a bit differently but in my opinion developer experience is actually a multi-faceted story. What does this mean? Well, in my opinion, developer experience is a combination of several factors which combine developer experience or in other words, good developer experience. Now, what are these factors? Well, support, SDKs and documentation and then how everything works together to create the developer experience. So what's the first thing we want to talk about? Well, let's talk about the documentation. So I myself already have written documentation and I must say writing good documentation is not easy, not at all. And I'm quite happy to say that the documentation with kind is quite good. So in my opinion, documentation is mostly either way too basic or way too overcomplicated. Now kind found the perfect middle between too basic and too overcomplicated so that when you read the documentation, you fully understand it and you can apply it. And that also means if I need something very, very specific, I can search for it and I will also find the information which I need. And that's again great. What we also have to talk about is the actual support. And I've used the support about three times using the live chat functionality on the web website and I must say the support was very very good and very helpful and actually also very fast. Now in my past experiences when I used some other live chat functionalities from other services my quite big problem was that they always never really gave me any good solutions. They just redirected me to some docs or FAQs and with kind this wasn't the case. They gave me actual solutions to solve my problems and that's exactly what I want from a live chat support. Now of course they also offer for example Slack and Discord and email, the standard communication ways. But for me actually live chat is the fastest way to get support and it's great that they support it and that there's an actual real human who answers the questions and gives actual solutions. And then the last thing we have to talk about are the actual SDKs. Now Kind offers in total, if I'm not uh, wrong, 21 SDKs. They are wide range from Next.js to React to JavaScript, PHP and much more. But I always use the Next.js SDK because I'm a Next.js developer. And I must say the SDK is very easy to use. It's quite fast actually and there are zero problems. At least I never had any problems. And when Next.js for example updated to Next.js 14 or 15, there were never any problems with versioning, everything worked great, which is quite good. So to summarize the actual developer experience, well, in my opinion, it's a quite good developer experience. I had zero problems, everything worked great, and yeah, I can't complain. Since we have now talked about the developer experience, what we also have to talk about are the actual features. Now Kind offers a lot and let's start with the basic features. So they offer of course social off, email password off, then passwordless off, single sign on, multi-factor off, actually everything you want from an actual authentication service. Now let's be honest, most off services offer that, also off zero and clerk. Nevertheless, I must say it's very easy to implement, which is a big plus point. Now one thing I also want to explicitly mention right here is the multi-factor off. Now if you watched my last video where I created a digital marketplace you saw that I implemented multi-factor off. The great thing is it was already available in the free tier and it was very very easy to implement. Only one click of a button and I already set up multi-factor off using Google Authenticator which was great. Now since I'm a web developer I of course also have to mention the actual web performance because at the end of the day I always optimize for the best performance and that's probably also what you do. And what shall I say the performance was surprisingly good. I didn't even think it would be that fast because at the end of the day when I implemented my code and the sign up button and lock in button and if I clicked on the button I got redirected I guess in a few milliseconds 
it was very fast, I had zero problems, and I never heard any complaints from users. So in terms of performance, it's great, it's very fast, and that's what we want as web developers. So we have now talked about the developer experience, the features, the performance, but what does actually Kind offer additionally? What does it have that other competitors don't have? So let's talk about that. So first of all, Kind is working currently on a new feature, which is called billing. So if you're building, for example, in SaaS, what you probably have to do is somehow implement a payment processor. Now, most of us use Stripe, and what you probably see is that there's a lot of code that you have to write, and, and there are a lot of actual issues that you can create. And the nice thing what Kind is currently doing, they are actually building an integration between Kind and Stripe to make actually subscriptions and I guess billing work, which is quite cool. But still, I have to mention, this is a coming soon feature, which means it isn't yet released, and I can't really say if it's great. Nevertheless, I'm quite excited to see when it's actually released and to see how it actually works. Now another thing which Kind offers is actually feature flags. So what are feature flags you might ask me? Well feature flags actually let you control the rollout of new features to different user segments. Now this is incredibly actually helpful for A-B testing because you can roll out features to different user groups, see how it actually performs and then roll out the feature to your global user base and it's quite cool that Kind actually offers that out of the box. And of course Kind also offers other features like for example connected apps or marketing services. Nevertheless I never really tested it out and that's why I can't really say anything about them. So I've now talked about everything that I like. I talked about the features, the performance, the developer experience which is great. But what we have to now also talk about is what I maybe don't like. Because at the end of the day, no service is perfect and kind is no exception. There are points which I don't think are perfect and which could definitely be worked on. So the first thing I want to mention is the admin dashboard. Now when I started using kind about 10 months ago, my biggest pet peeve was the admin dashboard. I found it not very intuitive and I had problems navigating the actual dashboard because I didn't know where I had to actually go. That's because the actual, I guess, links are always grouped in submenus, and for me, that's not a great UX. Now, again, this is my personal experience, and maybe this will differ for you, and maybe you love the actual layout of the dashboard. And I will also say, after using the dashboard a bit more active, I definitely understood where the links are, and I started actually liking it. Nevertheless, at the start, I found it a bit complex and not very intuitive, but again, this is my personal experience and yours could differ. Another point which I mentioned right here are actual integrations. Now, if you compare, for example, Kind to Off0, you will see that Off0 offers way more integrations. Now, of course, you must say right here that Off0 already exists for way longer than Kind. Nevertheless, if you really rely on integrations, that's something that you definitely should remember. Now, for me personally, this is not a deal breaker because I never used integrations. I don't really care about them. Nevertheless, again, if this is something very important for you, please keep that in mind. So now we have talked about everything which is, I guess, in the developer scheme. So we talked about developer experience, features, what I like, what I don't like. And what we also have to talk about is the pricing because this is also very important. And what shall I say? We have good news. Kind is very, very affordable. If you compare, for example, Kind to of Zero or also Kind to Clerk, you will see that it's way cheaper than both of these actual contenders. Now, this is actually a big advantage for startups and small businesses because they don't have the big money to spend. And what I actually also have to talk about is the free tier. So Kind offers in free tier with in total 10,500 free users or actually, let me correct myself, 10,500 monthly active users. That means your user has to actually log in to count to this limit and that's great because you can actually test out all of the features Kind provides and you don't even have to pay for that. So that's a big advantage. All right, everyone, we are now done with the video. I talked about the features, the pricing, the developer experience, what I like, what I don't like, the free tier. And now the question comes, should you guys try out Kind? Is it something that I recommend? Well, the short answer is yes. It offers the perfect balance between Off0 and Clerk. It has a great feature set, great support, great pricing. And at the end of the day, the minus points, which I actually mentioned, are not that major. So for myself and probably also for you, it's a great actual alternative to try out and I'm quite sure that you'll love Kind and the actual features that it offers. And now if you want to try out Kind, as you see in the background, then click on my YouTube description, click on the first link and you will get redirected to this beautiful website. And now guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you liked, I hope you subscribed and I hope I can see you on the next video. So now enjoy your day and bye!